Hello, for this uh, Lady Joe got himself today uh, uh, this thing, looks like sushi, isn't it? Roll sushi or norimaki, as some call it, or maki sushi. Um, well, where, whereas the normal sushi, you will see, of course, the the rice, uh, which is nicely, you know, in square shape, and then there will be some seafood on top, right? Sometimes with like a ribbon of uh, a seaweed and so on. So, But this roll sushi version, um, which is known as uh, norimaki in, Jap in Japan, basically, it's just, as, as as the name suggests, it's just rolled. The whole thing is just rolled. The seaweed is the, forms the outer wall of it. So what happens here is that um, rice is mixed with uh, rice uh, rice vinegar for the, in the Japanese version, and then uh, they would uh, go for fresh uh, seafood, usually, you know, um, tuna and so on. Whereas uh, uh, the Korean one has a bit of a difference there, right? Although overall the theme is the same, which is uh, rice wrapped in uh, seaweed, but the implementation is uh, kind of different. But both are great snacks, and thanks to both the cultures for bringing us this uh, enjoyable, uh, great uh, cuisine, right? So there is some contention about who started, who followed, and so on. Uh, but uh, the Japanese one, um, uh, I think it, it goes back to, I think, se second century, where initially the fish uh, gets stored in some fermented rice and then can be used for subsequent consumption and then eventually this rolled form apparently arrived about 1716 like that uh, uh, towards uh, the Edo period right in Japan okay this is for the history buffs out there but basically the rice is mixed with vinegar it's got more of a sour feel to it so a lot of uh, seafood and that's that's the direction that um, uh, norimaki goes in right However, when you talk about the Korean version, uh, apparently the Korean history version goes like they had some food called boksam, whereby a rice is wrapped in a bit of this uh, edible seaweed, uh, which was apparently since the Joseon era, which is from 1300s to uh, 1800s in Korea. So uh, who followed who is a matter of uh, let the historians debate on that. Uh, let us just enjoy the food and understand the variants. So the Korean version, basically the difference is that they use uh, uh, sesame oil, right, with the rice. So that's one uh, of the difference. And in terms of content, if you see, usually the Korean one, uh, the gimbap contains more ingredients, where the Japanese focus more on one or two ingredients inside the norimaki. Uh, and the other thing is that um, the Japanese use, the, as I mentioned earlier, fresh seafood, whereas the Korean one is more cooked stuff. They lean more towards cooked stuff like bulgogi. Uh, they put in the uh, don, don muji, I think, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Don muji is supposed to be their yellow uh, reddish pickle radish right so um uh, with korean food i've always had a, a kind of a love hate relationship with kimchi uh, which i also heard apparently was designed in a way so that the japanese soldiers would not be too uh, in love with the food you know or find, find it too appetizing so maybe that, that explains why i have got a bit of a, a love hate relationship with kimchi uh, but other than kimchi i think most korean food i i, I just enjoy it i have no problem with it so um this is also a food that I quite enjoyed. Um, so whether you like to go f towards the Japanese uh, version with lots of uh, fresh seafood and uh, vinegary slant, or you like more this a bit slightly sweeter and more cooked version of the Koreans, I think both both of them are great. And I, I'm just doing this video to sort of um, explain the differences because you might be thinking like this thing is called kimbap. And, and when you see in the in the restaurants, um, how to say, menu area or where you see it in, you know, nowadays they have this plastic uh, fake food that looks very real, right? So it looks like a, a norimaki or maki sushi. So you, you might get confused. So this is the difference, actually. It's just a, a, a bit on the vinegar, the sesame oil and uh, in the content. But both are great snacks, great for picnics and to eat on the go. Okay, guys. So I hope this uh, discussion gave you more enlightenment. And if you have any of your own personal um, encounters or experiences with these uh, uh, dishes or if you know any other variants maybe in other countries that I'm not aware, do share it in the comment section. Much love. Take care. Bye-bye from Lazy Joe. Bon appetit for myself.